Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about where I've been for the last couple of weeks and I'll also uh, show you an activity that you can do to help you cope with stress, anxiety, depression, as well as PTSD during this difficult um, quarantine time or pandemic time. So if you're interested, definitely keep on watching. guys so I'm in my bathroom sorry if you hear like an echo or anything but it's the most quietest place that I could be in my house at the moment so where have I been I've literally just been here at home I do I'm still doing work obviously um, but it's work from home um, but literally I've just been like uh, having uh, a bit of like overwhelming feeling in regards to all the stuff that's happening all the protests and the the coronavirus and all the stuff like that and I feel like I'm an empath so I kind of soak up all the um, negative stuff and all the uh, sad things that have been going around as well and then I have like a weird obsessive habit of looking up more information on these things and I just basically dig a hole where I just become extremely um, anxious and stuff like that so I've literally just felt like I'm coming out of that phase um, I did not create any video during the last three weeks because I was allowing myself to just go through those emotions allowing myself to have those feelings um, and you know eventually I will get the feeling of creating again which is essentially how I feel um, right now so thank you guys so much for those who have stayed in touch with me on Instagram if you're new here please subscribe and join the family I guess I could say that now join the family follow me on Instagram that's where you can always connect with me it's Shani S-H-A-N-N-Y underscore on my way which is all one word you can also find it in the description box below so that's pretty much where I've been and then I've been trying like a little diet thing well it's not really a diet I don't know I don't want to call it a diet I've been trying like calorie deficit and at first I thought it was gonna be like crap like it's not gonna work I'm gonna be low in energy and all kinds of stuff and it's just like ugh, I'm not gonna enjoy it but I honestly did and after just one week I started to see some results and stuff like that so I'll be definitely showing you guys some meals that I've tried and I'll also be doing a few cooking um, tutorials uh, because some of you guys did request that on Instagram uh, for some of the meals that I've posted so But for right now, in this video, I just want to show you guys how to make a stress ball at home. Uh, just using like an empty bottle um, or jar um, and using a balloon as well as flour. So if you're interested, this is how you can do this. And you can do this activity pretty much anywhere. It gets a little bit messy, but honestly, by the time you're done with it, it's like so rewarding having like a stress ball that you could just like squeeze for emotional support and um, you know mental health as well. So let's get into making the stress ball.
So that's how to make the stress ball. Hopefully you guys like the activity and you've tried it. Let me know if you did try it and how you felt during the process and after the process as well. And I'll definitely, definitely be showing you some more activities that you can use to help you cope with stress, PTSD, depression, and anxiety. Yep. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and all that jazz. Don't feel like I need to tell you guys in every video, but I'll just remind you. Anyways, if you are a new subscriber, I hope that you like today's content and you will join the family. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye!